Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm on the way to the shops to get the ingredients for a Starbucks eggnog latte. Don't even know what eggnog is that much, but I went into Starbucks the other day and tried one and it was amazing. So I tried to find a recipe online how to make it and you need like a coffee machine and all crazy stuff. So I'm going to the shops. I haven't got a coffee maker, I'm just going to do it on my stove. Old school baby. So uh, let's go get the ingredients and see how we get on. Woo! Right here guys, I just got out of the, a traditional British supermarket, got most of the ingredients I need, I've got my milk, uh, I've got my cream, okay, single cream, um, in America that's known as half and half, okay, so you need single cream, uh, cinnamon, um, espresso as well, I've got some espresso coffee, so just a teeny little bit, otherwise I'll be like Spider-Man all over the place. Now one thing I couldn't get hold of was eggnog, now, you can make that from scratch, um, but you can buy it in packs, it's also known as Advocat as well, but unfortunately this British supermarket didn't have it, I've got to go, why am I doing that with my hands, I don't know, I've got to go to a German one. Um, there's a well-known German supermarket just around the corner, so I'm going to go there and see if I can get it, and then we'll get going. Woo! Right, so to save a journey all the way to that German supermarket, I'm just going to try and give him a call in the style of an Australian man and see if he got it in stock. Cool. Please select from the following six options. Press 1 for recruitment. Press 2 to store location. Press 3 to stock availability. For stock Three. availability, please hold and we will answer your call as soon as possible. Oh, hi there. Could you tell me if you sell any eggnog? Don't think it's something that we do. I'll have to check a store for you. Okay. Whereabouts in the country are you? Uh, Western Supermare. Okay, bear with me. Hold on for me, I'll check for you. Thank you. Hi there. Could you tell me if you stock any eggnog? Any? Uh, eggnog? Eggnog. We do it at the car we sell. Oh, that's great. Is that in the Western store? It is. Ah, uh, brilliant. Uh, what time do you shut tonight? 7 o'clock. Uh, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Good day. Bye. Right guys, just got back from the supermarket. I bought this, some random disco biscuits as well, which is also a term for a drug, but these are chocolate, I hope. They look kind of cool, look at that. But the Advocat is here, look at that. Amazing. Big yellow, big bottle. You can sense the eggnog is in there somewhere. Woo! Let's go. Right guys, let's get on and make this eggnog. First thing I want you to do is to get two measuring jugs, cha-ching, cha-ching, and measure out 120 mil of your single cream, 120 mil of your eggnog mixture. Ready, go. Boom, there you go guys. Eggnog, single cream, 120 mils in each. Now I'm intrigued to see what this tastes like. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's thick, strong. Actually, yeah, it is alcohol, and it is 14% alcoholic volume, so, if you're over 18, you can get away with that, okay? So uh, try that then. Yeah, it tastes like an alcoholic custard, actually. Mm. So what I'm gonna do, is gonna sit them there for the minute. I've got a pan ready, and obviously my whisk, that can just go in there. That's gonna get poured in there any minute. But we're gonna quickly just make up our espresso. Um, a typical espresso shot is about, you know, 30 mils, like a normal shot size. So uh, just gonna boil the kettle, make that up, and then we'll chuck it all in. Easy peasy, woo! So while my kettle's boiling, I'm just going to put it all in this glass, keep it safe. I could put it in a shot glass, but boiling water in a shot glass will not go down well and I will scald my fingers. Not good. Ooh. Beautiful. So that is my coffee all done. I've measured it out and that is 30 mils, my friend. Just enough, not too much, or you will be hyper. You do not want that, okay? So just get a mug, whichever mug you're going to use, and just pour it straight in like that. Let it sit at the bottom. So now what we want to do is get these two things, the single cream and the eggnog, into our pan and bring it up onto a medium heat. I need to whisk it constantly, okay? It's going to get really exciting now, so watch out for this. Right guys, so that's on a medium heat. Not sure if you can see the flame or not, but you need to trust me, okay? So get your cream and just pour it in. Cool. Make sure your pan is not too hot, otherwise it will burn the bottom really quick. And you don't want that, it will go pssst, and it could even boil straight away. You that. And now add your eggnog in as well. Actually, I'm going to show you this. This is kind of cool. Look, it's kind of like an egg yolk. If I get it right in the middle, can you see this? Here it comes. Oh wow, look at that. Amazing. Right, so keep getting it all in there and keep whisking it constantly. Amazing! Okay guys, what I'm basically doing now is just whisking it over that medium heat. So keep doing that, but do not let it boil, my friends. Okay guys, not sure if you can see it, but we've got ourselves a nice little foamy layer on the top there. All we want to do now is just pour that straight into our mug. Easy peasy, huh? Mmm! Okay guys, so be careful when you're doing this. Wow. That's looking good. Bring it a little bit to the top, so you've got a little bit of room there. That to one side. All I'm going to do now is add whipped cream on top of it and our cinnamon. Woo! Right guys, grab your whipped cream, give it a shake. I know this might look rude, 
Remember the cream is optional. You can either go a little bit as well, none at all, or loads. So I'm gonna do a bit half and half. Nice. Now I'm just gonna grab my cinnamon, cha-ching, cinnamon. Just a little dab on the top. Nice. And that is it all done, my friends. So, why not serve that up with a disco biscuit? There you go, guys, nice and picturesque. Let's give the drink a try and see what it tastes like. Mmm. Oh, cream on my mouth. That is blooming good. Wow. I might even dunk my disco biscuit in there in a minute just to see what it's like living the dream. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you again on the next video. Cheers. High five.